Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Factorio using the C-Block mod pack. So we have a lot going on. We just did most of our um, most of our ingot processing. We're not quite done with it, but we're in, moving in the right direction there. I do want to get, uh, I guess we need, we need more copper. I do want to get more solar panels because I think we're about to put a large part of our base online that has been um, fairly inactive for now. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull this in right there. Because I am anticipating um, power problems. I won't do the steel, so we'll have to keep steel up manually, like that. But yeah, we did all the all that ingot processing. We forgot the major one. We got forgot steel, so we'll have to go back and add um, another area for steel. I have plenty of those. Probably gonna need more underground pipes. We're also gonna need a ton of things. Just a ton of things. I think we're gonna need um, so many more induction furnaces than we have. Where are they? Uh, we're gonna need a ton of casting machines. I'm thinking that we're probably going to want to have eight casting machines per um, per input metal, and that we, we won't be always be able to supply them. But I'm expecting to to back up. I'm expecting it to back up. Then we'll use the backup to uh, deal with problems. So out of steel. Out of circuits. Out of iron. Okay. We'll go deal with that later. Let's go and lay out these panels. Oh. Let's grab some of this carbon. We're a little light on land. Oh no, we just grabbed a bunch of landfill. Sorry, I'm a, bit, a little um, forgetful of what we did last time. Okay, we have a pattern already laid out. We just need to keep expanding on it. I feel a little bad because I'm getting really far ahead of, of um, when I post these. I try to. Uh, uh, let's do this this way first. So I've been putting these out at one per. Uh, why did it not? Because it's different. It's a different pattern. Right. Okay. I've been posting these at about one per day, and even then, I'm still like twenty episodes ahead of um for, of when I'm making. Uh, excuse me. I have twenty episodes waiting to be released. Because this game, I'm just obsessing over this game. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's just, uh, it's a little weird. I like being closer to when uh, the video is released so I can get responses from people and they can laugh at me and that kind of thing. I have this uh, real fear that someone's going to say, oh, you forgot this really important thing. And I'm going to look back and say, yeah, 15 hours ago, that would have been useful.
Um, let's do Valda. This is going to be annoying. It plays each one manually. No, I shouldn't have had to place them on manually. I screwed up or something. I should have been putting it there? Yeah. Okay, let's try all this again. There. Now I don't have to place them manually. I can just uh, let them auto-place behind me. Except for this one. Yeah, we started to need uh, steam during the day. Hopefully this will fix that. We just laid out, what, 50 of them? Something like that? And we had 700, so maybe that is trivial. Oh well, now we're producing them at a, a better rate. Okay, so we were making a bunch of things. We probably need more blast furnaces. We have seven more. That's probably more than we need. Induction furnaces, we have 15. Uh, I think I want a bunch of storage things that we'll use logistics on to um, deal with, to, to, to make things sort the right way. Alright, let's go take a look. Okay, so I want to make sure that half of my iron, about half of this, turns, uh, not that, of that, over there. Turns into steel. So, of this, right here. It's just empty right now because we've been stealing it. Putting it in boxes like that. I forgot about that. Okay. Why are you saying things to repair? Alright, so steel. Steel ingots are produced from. 24 iron ingots, and that's it. That's the only way to get them. 24 iron. We're gonna have trouble loading that. We'll have to grab some oxygen from back here, too. Way over on that side, we'll have to pull it all the way down.
Yeah, you guys move over. I want you to help out with this. Okay. So it's it's oxygen, so it's kind of like pretty much the same as this. No, as as this. Except I want it reversed. So never mind. It's gonna look completely different than anything. We'll just uh, copy a random one. Gap of two. They don't have all the things. They need belts. Reds, green, um, blues. All sorts of things. The factory itself. I'm in this place myself. And you are going to be making steel. See where we're gonna pull this over. Where it'll be. Alright. Oh, that's carbon monoxide. <laughs> Wrong thing. That's what I wanted. So, like this. There we go. Let's get the carbon up here. Unfortunately, we kind of made this area really busy. So we'll have to pull it some other way in. I guess we could just go down here. Sure. Messy, but it'll work. This whole thing turned to be so much more complex than I thought it was going to be. I thought I literally thought it was just going to be put all of them into six of these machines and then put them into the induction for the um, blast furnace, but instead everything has its own slightly different recipe. This will be the steel, right there. And we'll get iron down here.
Come on. Nah, it's working. Let's get some land. if I screwed it up the world generation like was I supposed to turn off the, the worms they don't really add anything just kind of annoying and their land out there I thought the whole idea was supposed to be only water maybe I was supposed to turn off the worms I don't know anyway so next bit we need to create different variants of several metals Actually, how many metals are we going to have going out? We're going to have... This is in the wrong place. That should have been up there. Okay. We are going to have as different types of metals... Uh, well, different types of liquids, I suppose. Moldens. Iron... Bronze, brass, copper, gun metal, solder, lead, tin, silicon, got bronze already, right? Yeah. Nickel, invar. Aluminum, or aluminium, depending on what part of the world you're from. Cobalt, cobalt steel. Big gun metal. Zinc. Electrum. Gold, or silver, then gold. Silver, gold. And we have cobalt steel already. Oh, and steel. So each of these will get a belt. <laughs> each of these is going to... How many is that total? That is... 19 different metals. And each of them is going to need its own set of eight of these facility... Uh, those casters. Casting machine Mark IIs. So we're going to need a bunch of those. I suppose I could just use ones. They're so much cheaper. But we need more of them then. I'm just going to go with the twos. And it's going to be tricky the way we're going to lay this out. So like for iron, ideally we're going to get iron from combining all three of these. But if we can't combine all three of those, we want to combine it from silicon. If we can't do that, we want to just do it normally. But copper is the other way around. Copper only has by itself. So we want to have like enough copper to make sure that we're producing the proper molten copper and then throw the rest of it into these other recipes as needed. So I think we need to do some logistics stuff to get this to work. Or not some logistics, some circuit stuff. Anyway, let's just see. How are we going to even begin this? So I'm imagining, I'm imagining the ingots coming in this way from the south, and then the plates going out the top. So we're going to have a little thing right here that makes iron, a thing that makes copper, a thing that makes um, all sorts of other things, and so on, down the line going this way for the next, what is it, 19, we said? Yeah, 19 things. It's, and then casting machines at the top of each of those groups. That's kind of my plan right now. So let's see. Um, 
I think we're gonna need two for the major metals, and no, we can probably just go away with one, one of each. And I think I want to do a lot of this with um, chests. I want to use chests to buffer, so that we can. Um, So that we can use those to, to get our logistic system going. Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to mess with it. But either way, let's just uh, start laying stuff out. So, iron. Iron has three different things it can turn into. And it's going to need the iron ingots, the silicon ingots, the nickel ingots, and the cobalt. Where are my induction furnaces? There. So these are... We do them sideways? Maybe I like that. Like that. All right, and it's all going to be buffered by chests. So we'll make this the, you make it from, from manganese, no. Wait a minute, did I get a recipe wrong? Molten iron. Uh, we don't we don't have the ability to do that one yet. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's just just get rid of all that. So it's really just you throw the silicon into it. Okay, well that's simpler. So this one is gonna be making iron from silicon. And these two will just be making it from uh well Let's do the other way around. We'll make a two from silicon. And then one from just regular iron. So let's put the silicon buffer right here. Well, do I really need to buffer the iron? Maybe not. Maybe just like this. And then we'll we'll do the logistics to say look at these two chests and only let things go past those two chests. If if the amount of glass of silicon is what we're gonna put um, is less than four is less than uh, 200 sure we might change that later And we have silicon coming in this way. Uh, should I use stack inserters for this? Probably eventually, but we don't really have the iron to support it, which is kind of the point. So load as much into this as you can. Uh, what's this input? It's every four seconds it needs 12. That's This will be fine.
just so it draws more evenly. How did it remember that? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna not gonna question. Okay, let's, so let's let's go ahead and start loading it in. So the silicon is it's hard to tell which one's which. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, no, we'll need to use it in multiple recipes. So, that. Let's get this power. And this should flip off at some point. Very slowly. I really do need stack inserters. the iron. There, it stopped. Uh, iron, after this, is only going to be one. Let's make, let's do that. That's easier. And we can stop stealing this, finally. <laughs> there we go. Producing a ton of molten iron now. And why don't we just go ahead and... Get that going fast. Let's start cutting out some cast some at least. This will not be our final pattern. We're gonna do something more complicated. I just want to have a source of iron nearby. We have to keep running back and getting more. That actually makes the belt stop. It doesn't just like it just it doesn't just like lower a barrier in front of it. The the animation stops. Probably in practice, this is a separate picture that they're putting on top of the belt of a stopped belt. But it amounts to the same thing. All right. Okay. What's next? The copper. So copper. We're going to make both bronze and brass. I think brass is probably going to be what we're going to be making the most of. But we're going to need copper too for all the uh, all the circuitry. I'm not sure what gun metal is used for. Bullet casings. Which are part of making special bullets. Which I will not use actually very much. So probably I don't need that much um, gun metal.
since I don't actually have any fighters to fight, just the worms. So I need copper, tin, nickel, and zinc. That's it. So it's different combinations of those four. Uh, they're different metals then, so I can't have them share a single output. space between them, of course. I probably should leave some room. So this will be the copper. Alright, so... We're going to need some molten copper, so certainly that. That needs the least amount of things, so actually maybe that's a bad idea to put that there. Copper and tin is bronze. We'll put bronze, both bronze on this side, so tin and nickel. You know, I don't know why I keep on looking at this and seeing four. That's clearly five things. Um, and probably I'll just I'll double up this one. Okay, so these will both be the tin, the base tin. I'm sorry, the base copper. This will be the more complicated recipe, the molten bronze. Ah, uh, which one? From three, one, from three things. Okay, this will also be molten bronze, using just tin. And then this will be the brass, copper and zinc. You know, if we're gonna do buffering, I forgot. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need, need more space. Uh. Well, we can we can not do, but we can skip buffering. And we could, it's really this way, we didn't want it. we didn't want to waste the iron ingots. In this case, we do want to based on output. So we'll make, we'll make the inserters be uh, logistic limited. And actually in hindsight, this might have been a bad layout. There's what? There's everything needs tin. And now nickel is the thing that's rare. Only one thing needs nickel. So the molten bronze that needs nickel should be right here. Is it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this will be nickel. That's it.
All right. Uh, we'll put tin along this side. All right, what does this require? This is the one that needs zinc only, the brass. Wait a minute, which ones do we do? This is... That's the one that needs brass. Bronze. Bronze. This is gunmetal, then? Which I don't actually technically need. I wonder if I should even bother to make it. Maybe not. Maybe we'll leave it to sitting here. Well, um... We'll, we'll know that we could make gunmetal. But for now, we're not gonna bother. So, this... That's the tin and zinc. Or no, that's the, that's the tin and nickel. So, tin... Tin by itself. And tin and zinc. Wait a minute, I'm thinking of this wrong. This is just the br um... That is just zinc. These two are tin. Alright, now we need zinc, which we can pull in from right here. I think this will work. The piping will be a little annoying, but workable. We should probably pull in both lines of copper. And think about that. Let's move these right one. That actually might make it easier. We'll just devote half of the of the line to to the actual raw copper. Let's rebalance right here. So that... Uh, pro they were already balanced. It doesn't matter. Alright, but I do want to put a storage tank here. In fact, I should have done that over here for the iron. my storage tanks. I know I made them. There they are. Okay, so this needs tin. Let's go grab some tin. This is nickel, right? Yeah. Wait 
Where is the tin? That one, right? Very light blue? No, this one. I think it's dark green. Tin on the inside, right? Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to waste tin on things I'm not using. I might, I mean, not not tin. I don't want to waste copper if I'm not, if I'm not using this up. So let's, let's let's do logistics. These will only activate. Now, uh, how much can that hold? Let's say it can hold. Uh, activate if it's less than five thousand. If molten. Well, let this just be uh, out for the minute. These are actually pretty heavy uh, energy consumers too, so we have to watch our power. And look at that spike of the flotation cells coming back on. And those are crystallizers coming back on to fill up the flotation cells again. <laughs> okay, this needed zinc, which is a very light blue. That one. Yeah. Unfortunate. How are we going to make this happen? Um, cut early. There's a way to do this really easy, I forget it then. go. It's 
are finally making some molten things. This is even slowly filling up again. Focusing on the silicon. Hope we don't we have to make sure we're not gonna use up all our silicon turning it into iron. I think it'll be okay. In fact, let's put the same rule on this. So these are only gonna activate when we're really desperate for iron. Do we even apply that to the rest of these? No, we only did it on one. Okay. So these are gonna activate. Did I put the sign the right way? It was less than 5k. This is only going to activate if it's less than 5k. Molten iron. Right, this will be active all the time. As long as the silicon can support it. That's good. Not mean to make those. Finally, we have a plentiful source of iron. Okay, we'll need to keep expanding this and get more land. I think is the next step. Eventually, we're going to need to fill in this whole section. <laughs> That'll be fun. Because I'm, I want, I want, I want my belts to, um, I want my main bus to go over this. Maybe I should have expanded this into those wider, like pairs. Well. Maybe we'll snake up like that. I don't know. We'll worry about it in the future. Out of landfill. Let's go get some more. Probably need to kill that worm too. Well, let's expand these first. So I'm not constantly uh, trying to make space for something that's not there.
Wow, we didn't we, we left that one to fall well back. What is that? Nickel? Tin. Because we did tin early, right? Let's go back and get some more landfill. Wow, these are being made. There. This is the natural rate for most of these. We're always looking at a full belt, but instead it's going to be coming in two at a time. Or even less than silver, it seems. All this crystal. That's not a lot of landfill. Only 4,000. Uh, is mineralized is having troubles, so we can't expand this. Also, leave it alone. We don't need more pipes yet. Get on pipes. Alright, let's place those out. How did our power grid... Oh, it did not handle that sudden increase pretty well. Ooh, we're gonna definitely need... We need a lot more solar panels. I was thinking it was like another couple hundred, but now that's, that's, we need to double up.
Okay, well, we'll have to... We'll have to see. When this next wave of flotation cells comes in. Whether or not... Uh, well, this should be a, this should be unusual. I mean, it, it should it should be a it should plateau right here if we were using up all the ore, right? And where are the blast furnaces? I guess they're not we're not using them up that much. Yeah, they they're just used so irregularly. I should grab some more rock. They're right here, right? Yeah. These are all gonna stop. They're not gonna continue. We, like, after this, we'll never need copper ingots again. Um, well, in this module, we'll never need copper ingots again. But each individual ingot will continue until it gets into its main uh, production area. What was this supposed to be? This is. This is the iron. Okay. We don't want to spend all the silicon on the on the iron. I guess it'll it fill it up, so we're good.
All right. Well, it's a solid start. We're gonna we're still need to do more work to get this rolling, but at least we have iron on this side of the world now. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young, and this is Factorio using the C Block Mod Pack. Thank you.